Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for our survival of all. Today in this video, folks, I'm going to be showing you how to tame a mantis. So if you guys enjoy this video and find it useful and informative, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. Also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. So, with the Mantis, this is a, another passive tame. However, the creature is aggressive. So, in the past, what people used to do is they used to walk up to it and then put on a ghillie suit and use bug repellent now what i'm going to show you is something that does not require any of those and you can tame it in the location where it spawns for this of course we will be using a trap now you want to use a trap because the mantis will aggro on several creatures including the vultures and of course it will also aggro on carcasses whilst it is aggroed on something or anything you cannot feed it its food that it prefers in terms of riding a mantis you will also need a saddle which i'm going to show you what you need in terms of level requirements and materials to craft also very important to note that the mantis is rideable and of course you can equip it with tools and weapons and you can use it to harvest stuff however the mantis does not have a lot of uh carry weight and it does not have a lot of hp either also Whilst we're on this topic, it is also important to know that the mantis cannot be bred, and so you have to look after it if you want to. In terms of um, taming the mantis, its preferred food is the death worm horn, which you obtain by killing death worms and then harvesting them and uh, looting their inventory. Now let's get into the trap. This is what trap I will be using. This is a very generic trap and it is one foundation with three walls tall all around the single foundation. From the top walls I have put uh, ramps going down into the ground and that is uh, three ramps on each side. So Let's have a look at the stuff that you will need in order to ride it, as well as what it prefers in terms of food. As I said, you will need to craft a saddle, and it prefers the death worm horned in terms of food. Now, these things do weigh a lot, and in order to ride them, you will need to craft a saddle. Here are the requirements for crafting a saddle and the level that you can craft it at. Alright, so let's get to the kiting part of the video. So what you want to do is you'll want to dismount your flyer. And I do recommend using a flyer for the purposes of kiting a mantis into the trap. As you can see, I've got a 150 mantis right here. And so we're going to kite her into the trap. She is fairly easy to kite. And all we need to do is pretty much just run to the trap. Do bear in mind, I do have that jump attack. So you want to remount your flyer as quick as possible. Let it kind of catch up with us. It does do a decent amount of damage. So you will want a bit of a sturdy flyer. And then as you can see, it's right behind us. It can actually do a 360 spin. So you can actually kind of redirect it as and when you need it. Uh, so that it falls into the trap. Once it's in the trap, it is still aggroed. Although the fact that uh, the uh, Mantis is not performing any attacks, we still cannot tame it. So to show you that, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to just quickly clear the area out before I actually dismount. And then I'll try and feed it its preferred food just to show you that you cannot interact with it whilst it is still aggroed. Now, we know it is aggroed because... Uh, we just kind of aggroed it and dropped it into the box. And unlike the Arthropleurus and the spiders, it does hold aggro for quite a decent amount of time. Also, very important to note is the fact that if there is another Mantis within a quite a decent area of the trap and it aggroes onto you, the Mantis inside the trap will also aggro. Same thing applies if you kill a mantis close to the trap. And so therefore, what you will need to do is you will need to fly out of render distance. And unlike the other creatures that I've tamed and showed you in this video, you will have to wait somewhere around 15 to actually 10 to 15 seconds out of render distance for it to lose aggro. 
as I said, it does prefer the death worms. And as you can see, there are many parts of its body sticking out, which is why I like the strap so much. Now, technically, I should be able to interact with it, but I can't because it's aggroed. So let's get out of render distance. And I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Now, with this, I do tend to prefer to fly further than just out of render distance just to give myself that extra time now it has had some time to chill down so i'm hoping that this works uh, normally i recommend waiting somewhere around as i said 10 to 15 seconds especially if it has uh aggroed on you due to another mantis being in the uh, close proximity of this one now as you can see i can access the interaction from any angle on this mantis due to the fact that it is somewhat larger than the box i did use bug repellent although you should not need it uh, however i do recommend using a ghillie suit and bug repellent to keep other creepy crawlies away now the mantis can be found in the desert area of the scorched earth dlc or in the volcano area of the Ragnarok DLC. The Ragnarok DLC is of course a free DLC that you can download. Oh, we've got something coming our way, so let's clear that out. Now, killing other creatures close to it should not aggro it. Now, very important to know is that if it's will not in a trap, the mantis will have aggroed on the carcass and try to eat it whilst it's doing that you cannot feed it so that is very important to know and the same thing applies to pretty much any passive tame that has aggroed to a carcass now as you can see i am having to keep the area clear there are plenty of things that have spawned out there and i want to get rid of them before they cause a problem i am not wearing any ghillie suit i am in full tech armor and i don't have bug repellent as well so I can still interact with it. It did not upset the mantis, me killing all the other creatures. But as you can see in the distance, there is another mantis. Now, what's going to happen is that mantis is going to harvest the bodies. It's going to come and it's going to come close to the trap to harvest the body of the spider or whatever I killed. Okay, the scorpion. I'm going to let it do that. I could have killed it where it stood and that should have been all right. But just to kind of show you what will happen, as you can see, it is quite uh fairly far from the trap i'm gonna let it get further then i will go and kill it just kind of show you what uh aggro distance this mantis has on the one that i'm trying to tame as you can see it is quite far now normally with other creatures by killing them it does not really tend to aggro them but the moment i start killing it and attacking it it will aggro the other mantis it does not look it, but as I get close to it, there you go. You can see the cloud of smoke at the base. That means the mantis is already aggroed. So to de-aggro it, just do what I told you. In this case, we will have to wait 10 to 15 seconds. I'm going to fly well out of render distance. I'm going to go for the skies, just uh, for the clouds, I meant. Just because. Now, I will wait, I'm guessing, somewhere around 10 seconds, roughly speaking. Because I will be going well and truly out of that render distance. So that should add a couple of seconds to my journey. Giving it maybe 15 to 20 seconds from the point of me getting to my uh, maximum height and then going back down. So that should be enough for me to uh, lose aggro on that mantis. Very important with the mantis, as I said, and as you've seen, it is a passive tame, meaning that you will have to put its preferred food, in this case, the death worm horn, in your last action bar slot, in my case, zero, and then walk up to it and feed it. Now, the mantis does have a very large aggro range when you're not wearing the ghillie suit and bug repellent. You can get close to it with a bug repellent and ghillie suit. Now you can do this without the use of a trap, but the mantis does wander about quite a bit. It does aggro on any uh, carcass on the ground and whilst it's aggroed, it will not be tameable. So you cannot interact with it and feed it its preferred food. There we go. As you can see, I can feed it. And it does take about three to four death worm horns for a 150 mantis. In terms of getting it out of the trap, you can either demolish the trap or you can use a cryopod. In terms of functionality, the mantis is pretty much a jack of all trades. 
but is good at nothing in the sense that whilst it can harvest many resources it will not harvest a vast amount of those resources you can also equip it with weapons however it's probably better off with its own melee attack it is a cool looking creature and for that reason i will only tame it for its looks not necessarily for its functionality and if you guys want a mantis this is in my opinion the best way of getting one that is it for this video folks i do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative if you have please don't forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself and if you have just subscribed why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel who knows you might just enjoy them also, don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you get notified when I upload new videos and content to the channel. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. The links to this you can find down below in the video description as well as in a pinned comment from myself. Until next time, stay safe, folks.